Welcome. In earlier video, we discussed how to install and activate MicroStrategy Intelligence Server on a Linux machine. Now we would see how to configure MicroStrategy Intelligence Server. For that, we need to create DSNs pointing to the metadata and the data warehouse. If you would notice, on the left-hand side, I have the customer data data warehouse and the training metadata, which resides in Microsoft SQL Server. And I have created MD underscore DSN pointing to the metadata and CUST underscore DSN pointing to the customer data data warehouse. Interestingly, if you want to create a connection between the intelligence server and if you want to point the metadata, you will have to create DSNs with the same configuration and the same name in the Linux machine as well. Let us see how. In your Linux environment, launch the connectivity wizard by going into the home directory. And once the connectivity wizard is launched, you may start with the DSN creation. Click on Next. Select the driver that contains the database. In our case, it is Microsoft SQL Server. Next. Enter the data source name, which will be the same name as you have in your Windows machine. The host name would be the IP address of the machine that contains the database and the SQL Server instance. The database name should be the same name as you have in your SQL Server. Click on Test. Enter the username and password for the SQL Server and click on connect. If the connection is successful, it will give you a message indicating that. The test connection succeeded. Click OK, close, and then click on finish. It will say data source name created successfully. Click OK. Similarly, you may also create the DSN pointing to the data warehouse. Once the DSNs are created, you may launch MicroStrategy Configuration Wizard from the home directory and configure the intelligence server. Once the wizard is launched, select Configure Intelligence Server. Click Next. Select the DSN that points to the metadata and enter the username and password for the SQL Server. Click Next. It will try and connect to the metadata. Leave the username as the default one and if required, you can enter the password. Click Next. It will try and log in into the metadata. You may create a new server definition and use that as the active server definition. Leave the port number as default unless you have a favorite number ranging between 1025 to 65535. You may then enter the location of the certificate that intelligence server should use for SSL communications. You may then click on finish. And if you would notice, starting intelligence server instance configuration, manipulating server definitions, setting up server port number, cleaning up resources required for server configuration, and restarting the intelligence server. Now this might take a couple of seconds. Once done, it will give you a message completed. Click on Close and your intelligence server is now configured. You may then go to your Windows environment where you have the desktop interface, right click anywhere in the folder list and select New Project Source. Once selected, it will launch the Project Source Manager. You may name the new project source as Linux Project Source. Leave the connection mode as Server and the server name would be the IP address of the machine that contains the intelligence server. Leave the port number as the one that you have selected during the configuration of the intelligence server and click on OK. You may now notice on the left hand side you have Linux project source. Double click on it, enter the administrator login ID and click on OK. Once connected it will give you a message no projects were returned by this project source which is pretty obvious because we haven't created any projects yet. In next video, we would see how to create projects in a three-tier project source pointing to the intelligence server on a Linux machine and how to run reports and do the analysis. 
Thank you.